What's up, YouTube? So I have a pretty good surprise for you guys. As you guys can see, we're in a different house, which is not my normal house that I usually film in. It is my brand new, brand new to me house that I bought thrifting, reselling, all mainly on eBay. I do sell like on Craigslist once in a while or like offer up, but 99% of this money came from reselling on eBay, going to thrift stores, hustling every day, buying, selling, trading. Thanks to you guys. You guys help me support me along this journey. I will definitely be posting almost every day now that I have my own house. I'm going to have some really good internet so I could post videos within two to three minutes, 10 minute videos, going to the bins, the flea market, thrift stores. I got this electric bike so I could go to different thrift stores all around my area. It goes 30 miles on a single charge. This house is in Margate. So maybe in the future we'll do like some type of local meetup, maybe at one of the thrift stores or at Wild or somewhere where everyone can meet up and have a good time, maybe even go bowling. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button, subscribe. We are gonna be going to the thrift store and I'll be showing you guys around in my new house and what I've done so far. And I'll show you guys some before and after pictures. As you guys could see, there's a big pile of wood right here and all of this wood came off of all the walls. All this wood around the mirrors, that was everywhere around all these poles. There was like some gates here. There's just so much wood in this house and I'm gonna remove this fireplace because is an ugly fireplace right here so I'm just gonna like square that off right there this is my house I love it a lot and I don't know who my roommates are gonna be yet there's a lot of awesome features there's a pool in the backyard there's three bedrooms two baths I'm gonna renovate it all myself this house was two hundred and seventy three thousand dollars and I had to put down sixty thousand dollars of my hard-earned saved money and you guys don't understand how hard it is to keep sixty thousand dollars in the bank without spending it I was so tempted to waste it on like a really nice car car or just buy a bunch of stupid shit like Yeezys and all that stuff that all the kids are like, oh, I have a big dick because I have all these Yeezys. You guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Well, that's not me. I'm not a hype beast. I wear what I like. Look at this. I have a shirt of two puppies on it. Do you think I'm going to be wearing some Yeezy shit? Hell no. I saved my money. I invested and I bought a house. We're going to grow together. Hope you guys are enjoying the videos though. We're going to go to the thrift store after I show you guys a couple of the rooms and what I have for ideas. And a lot of my ideas, my dad's like, oh, why are you gonna do that? You're gonna ruin your house. But it's gonna be for us. It's my house. I bought this with my hard earned money. I'm gonna do exactly what I want with it. Maybe like right here in the entrance of my home, there's a mirror right here, but we're gonna smash that, remove it, and maybe do some type of subscriber wall where you guys donate 20 bucks and I write your name on the wall. And then when we get our 100,000 subscriber plaque down the road, I'll put that there. I'm gonna paint this all specially for YouTube. So if you guys are interested in something like that, let me know. If it's a little bit too much for you, I apologize. But I felt like 20 bucks is somewhat reasonable for everyone to be able to afford. Maybe my homies over at Rally Roots will send me 20 bucks. That's like an ultimate shout out forever. Like that's like an everlasting shout out. Every time someone sees my videos and they see me filming right here in the corner of my house, they'll be like, oh, Rally Roots is a supporter? Man. I better go watch their videos too because if I support Connor Thrifts, I better go support Rally Roots as well because they're also really dope resellers. So I hope you guys are into that type of donation system where put your name on the wall, you guys are supporting me, and I'll never take that off the wall unless I sell the house. And then if I buy another house, I'll put those names back on the wall. And there's a lot of ideas I have, so let's get into it. Today, I didn't come to my new house for no reason at all. I do have a small issue that's being fixed tomorrow and it takes three to four days. If you guys could guess it, I'll give you guys a little hint I don't know why would you think that all the doors are open why would you think that everything's about to get gassed up no we're not smoking out the house we are smoking out the house with termite tenting I got a termite tent the entire house get rid of these bastards and then they're also gonna fix some of the outside wood areas this is the kitchen I'll show you guys a quick little pan of the kitchen. There's not too much that I have to do right away. Maybe add like a backsplash, maybe some new countertops down the road. I gotta save money for about a year or two and then I can start doing upgrades. Just a little bit of work on everything. Here's the garage door and right here will be a washer and a dryer. Then we have the water heater. This is the garage that goes up to the attic. The garage is actually pretty big. I'm actually pretty impressed with the size of the garage. I'm gonna remove the shelving area because a lot of my racks that I have clothing on will probably go in here. Ooh, they left me some bubble wrap. You guys don't understand how pumped I am, but I just noticed that. That's actually funny because I've been in here like six or seven times and I didn't notice this big roll of bubble wrap. I think I'm gonna add like some type of air conditioner unit in here because it's hot as hell. I'm also gonna be removing all the mirrors so any mirrors you see 
will be removed. Oh man, I can't wait to show you guys my room. You guys are gonna be like, what the hell is going on with your room? This was all paneled with wood. As you guys can see, there's like fake brick. Just gotta patch it up, remove all this ugly wallpaper. My room is probably the weirdest room in the house because the bathroom doesn't even have a wall. It's just like connected to my room. Isn't that so weird? So what my idea is, is I'm gonna tear out the tub and then just make a giant shower with a closet right here. The majority of the floor is gonna be painted because this floor and this color just looks so nasty. We have this Ugla, I think his name is. Ugla, number six. Florida Marlins jersey, it's a youth size, extra large it looks like, or a large. Probably sell for like 25 bucks. Then we have this kids size small to medium for $3 and then wait for the huge come up right here. Brand new at Tags, 2017 Adidas jersey for $8, this is size large. And I believe this is the one that Drake wore and this says Pogba. Oh man, how? That's probably why it's here. It probably got donated because it got stains on it, but it's brand new with tags. So maybe Adidas donated it. I don't know. Such a sick jersey. I can't remember. Did Brett Favre play for the Jets? I don't remember. A little bit of scuffs, but it's only $3. So pick that up. Buy for $3. Sell for $15, $20. Bucks. Kid size extra large. Fits an adult, medium, or small. Somehow I almost missed this Antonio Brown jersey size medium for $5. So sick. He still plays, so that's awesome. And then I almost missed this too. It was over here on this rack. For some reason, I only checked those three. I missed that fourth one. But we have a James jersey. So it's like a little bit cracking and wear. It's from 2014. Dope pickup. Gonna be like another 35 bucks. And then that one's gonna be probably 30. A couple good kid shoes at Thrift City. Just a little bit too much in price for me. $10, probably sell them for like 30. Flu Game 12s. These ones are $13, probably sell them for 30. These ones are the most Coppable, but they're just too dirty and yellowing. These ones are $15 and I could probably sell them for like 40 as you get to see the scuffs on the laces. If it's real or not though, it looks older. But then if you look on the inside tag or the inside of the shirt, you got like this patch type thing and that usually means it's fake. And when you lift up this thing, it says replica. Pretty cool. It looks kind of real. I'm just not sure if it's like older, but then look at the stitching. It looks so bad. Obviously they're gonna price this high, but we have the Wizards youth size small Jordan jersey but too much money for me eight dollars if it was champion i would pick it up here we go here's a score 7.99 for the hoka one ones Let's see if we have anything else down here while we're all the way down on the floor since i'm six foot six those are good condition just got to clean them up a little bit probably get like 50 bucks for them so i got some help from my friend christian he thinks it's fake so i'm gonna pass on it then i found these vineyard vine swim trunks these are four dollars there's actually another pair but they're six dollars so i'm gonna pass on them what's up guys i locked up the electric booty this is part of my I bought a house reselling on eBay video. I wanted to do a little bit of thrifting, show you guys the house, show you guys some of the progress that I've done, but hopefully find some good stuff. I'm just gonna go like pretty quickly and try to find just like the best stuff. Man, these pants are so hard. I'm so mad about this flaw though. I don't know if I could buy them with this flaw. They're gonna be like $4.50. But look at this big rip right here. It's got like a little snag and then there's a hole at the top. But look at these BMW Motorsport Puma sweatpants, size small. If they were medium, I would rock them for myself. They go for about 30 to $45. I don't know guys, that's kind of a big flaw. I did find some pretty good stuff though. A dollar for this Backstreet Boys, it's 2013, but a dollar and a $15 and a dollar and a $15 Maroon 5. LeBron James, size small, Miami Heat. So that's gonna be $5 and a 30. I don't know if this is real or not, but I don't even know what team this is actually. It says Lupo Sport, I'm gonna look that one up. So all these are a dollar each. We have a Miley Cyrus 2013 tour shirt when she was a little bit freaky. And we have a Chicago 50th anniversary, this is a dollar. Blink 182, that's a dollar. And then this thing is probably worth the most out of everything they picked up today. Well, the ratio of flipping a dollar into probably like 25 or 30. These earlier 2000s window shirts always sell so well. All right, so I almost pulled a rookie move. When I found those other track pants, I was like, oh, I'm done in this section, blah, blah, blah. But no, I found some Polo Sport vintage track pants. These are so sick. Polo Sport Ralph Lauren on the tag, size medium. So sick, couple small scuffs. Honestly, I know it sounds like a lot, but probably $4.50 and do 40 to 50 bucks. So that's really good. All right, so they just put out this new rack, size XL. We got the Tommy Jeans embroidered spell out sweatshirt for $5.99, that's so sick. And then we have the vintage 90s single stitch for $2.99, Pete's Wicked Ale. What's up guys? So we're taking the Mongo booty today. We made it to the thrift store, which is in Boca Raton. We're gonna go to a Goodwill 
after this thrift store. If this thrift store provides like lots of heat or lots of gems, then we'll probably just go home or go to the new house. And I'll show you guys what I pretty much did because I did a lot of work and renovations to the house that you guys haven't seen yet. But it's half off everything except for one color at this thrift store on Wednesdays. Maybe we'll go to Goodwill near my house because there is a Goodwill walking distance to my house. Hopefully not too much competition shows up. I'll show you what I found. $2. We have these crazy Hawaiian type shorts. These are size medium made in USA. For $2 we have just a basic Nike shirt. I think this is like 3XL, no 2XL. So go on my t-shirt store. I usually get like 10, 15 bucks for those. We have a vintage Dairy Queen t-shirt. If it's not half off, I won't get it. I think Blue Tag is not half off. This one's so sick though. We have the vintage for $3. Late 80s, early 90s. Fruit of the Loom tag. You got like this unicorn on it. Yeah, San Francisco, probably single stitch. Yep. So three bucks for that one. For $2, we have the really cool Jordan shirt. Never seen this one before. Looks super crazy. Then we have this shirt, which I saw last week. I Ivory Ella, and it's going for about 20 bucks. So for $2, I'll pick it up. It's a women's piece. $2 for this logo athletic Brett Favre jersey. I know it's pretty beat up for $2. Definitely a good like $20 bill right there. We have this Tory Richard for $3. I do really well with this brand. Usually get about 20 bucks for those. We have this warm up NBA heat jersey, and this is $4. Has a couple small stains, but it's sewn in. It looks really nice. So I think this is the only like good problem to have. I'm locking up the Mongo booty. My house is too close to Goodwill to like not go to Goodwill every time I'm in this area. So I'm like going to Goodwill every day. I recognize this design because my mom, before she passed away, rest in peace mama, she used to buy these when they were like Disney ones. So we have the Jim Shore for $4. And I looked this up and someone's asking 75 plus shipping on eBay. Pretty heavy and big. I'm surprised it's only $4, but I'm definitely gonna pick it up. It doesn't look like there's much damage at all. Maybe like a small little chip here and there. I can't even really find it maybe like right there on the corner of his cape but other than that i think it's in pretty pretty good condition i think i'm gonna put this on offer up for like 80 bucks and see what kind of offers i get but it's also like a christmas item so i don't think it'll sell for a while i think i just found the cutest thing ever pittsburgh penguins youth size or baby size starter jacket this is the cutest thing ever. This is literally, how much is this? $3. This is so cute. Definite pickup. All right guys, so this ends this episode of kind of like a trip to the thrift, but also showing you guys my new house. I'm gonna show you guys a quick little walkthrough of my house because I have been doing a lot of work this week. I know you guys probably watch other YouTubers that film all on the same day, but I just don't have time to do that. I have a business to run. And it obviously shows what all this hard work can earn you is a beautiful, kind of beautiful house. I just got an offer for another jersey. Boom, making money while I'm working on my house. I did $570 in sales yesterday. Today it's looking like 250 and it's only 1.30 p.m. right now so maybe the rest of the day I'll make another 200 bucks. Boom, another $500 day. My mortgage is only $1,375. Boom, you guys can see the potential of me paying off this house so quickly. To start off right in the entrance. We took down all of the mirrors. We removed the fireplace right here. I just did this today. I demoed this wall right here. It was a little bit difficult because there was an outlet but the outlet kind of just fell down. This walkway will be awesome having a huge walkway into the kitchen. I'm gonna go into my bedroom. I did a little bit of demolition on the bathtub, but I stopped because it was taking too much. I was just gonna get a sledgehammer at Home Depot. I took out all the tile floor. Underneath is like this vinyl that I'm gonna rip up and then put carpet on. I haven't really done much with the backyard yet, but there is a beautiful pool back there. Over here is gonna be a separate room that I'm gonna box in. So I think the wall is gonna be like right here, boom. It's gonna go over here, boom. And then this right here is gonna be a big closet. And then over here is gonna be maybe like a desk. And this is gonna be kind of like an office that goes out to the pool. I'm gonna put a wall right here where there's a window because obviously there would be a window in my closet for my new room. I'm gonna make this a whole separate room. So it'll be a four bedroom, two bath house. Kitchen's pretty basic. The garage has a bunch of shelves here I took down. Boom, there's gonna be tons of racks for clothes for eBay. Just a lot of like cleaning up to do, minor work. I need to get a wash and dryer. So the kitchen's pretty basic. I got rid of the little handles that look like forks. I ordered some on eBay. I'm gonna sand these down, paint them, and then the floors will be like a laminate tile that looks like wood. So right now the backyard looks 
pretty crazy because it has a bunch of random stuff everywhere. We have a beautiful backyard with this beautiful pool. I do need to have my friend that has a pool come out here because it looks like it is getting a little bit green. He just has to show me how to put the chlorine in, put the acid in. A lot of this is all going to be like taken out. So anything you see back here, it's pretty much going to be gone except for the shed in the back. All the tile on the floor, everything is just going to be gone. I even might replace this down the road. The inspector said it's going at a slant downwards and that's not good because the water will be pushing against the house. So I'm going to be removing all the rocks, everything and make a landscaping that goes down away from the house. Lots of potential in the backyard. Already have coconuts growing on the trees. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Make sure you guys subscribe, support the channel, Connor Thrifts. ConnorThrifts.com coming soon. Maybe we'll have a shop where you guys could buy some of the stuff that I thrift. Make sure you guys comment down below what you guys think of the house. I need to wash my hands. I need to take a shower. I'm exhausted. I've been working on the house all morning. I need to go home to my dog, Daisy, and make sure she's all right. So I hope you guys have a nice day. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.